Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur had a, a given one story. He explained this story uh, in one Bhavaktam class there. He says, once there was a worldly king who was very lavish, who was very opulent, who had one son who is whimsical, frivolous. So every day he has a new desire. So one day he called his father and asked him, please bring a flock of sheep and a group of monkeys so that I can play with them. So all his desires have to be fulfilled because he is Yuvaraja. There was one very nice royal garden attached to their palace. And that royal garden has a, a horse stable, grass for the horses. And in one side there is a royal kitchen where they prepare items for the king. And in between all these monkeys and sheep, they were all playing around. So this boy used to go and play around with the sheep, sheep and monkeys and all these things. He was enjoying. So one day there was one old sheep who was very crooked in nature. So being very greedy of eating, it used to enter the royal kitchen. And he used to eat, make everything juta there. It used to go and put its mouth in everything there. And the cooks becoming angry because it is making juta, they used to hit with stick. You know that wood which is used to put for uh, fire. So they used to catch that wood and throw it on the sheep. And the sheep used to run away and again next day it used to go. So one old monkey which is very learned, he saw the situation. So it called all the young monkeys and said, please understand, a great danger is going to befall on us. All of us, let us go away from here. Then they, all the young monkeys said, what danger are you seeing? You have become old, your mind is not working. You are all enjoying here. Huh? Time to time we are getting royal opulences in enjoyment. Because of the son of the king, we are enjoying like a royal person. If we go outside to eat some fruits, we have to jump from one tree to one tree. People will come, throw stones on us. They leave their dogs on us. Somebody will bring a gun and shoot. Why we have to die like that? Let us enjoy nicely here. Uh, what is that misfortune what you are seeing upon us? Then the old monkey will say, See, there is one old greedy sheep. One day, because of its greediness, every day it is entering into the kitchen. It will enter into the kitchen. The cooks will become irritated by it. And they will try this time not a raw, co raw wood, but they will, they will throw one burning coal upon it. Since this sheep is full of wool, that burning coal will catch fire upon this body of the sheep. And because of that uh, heat, it will run here and there. First, it will go to the place where that uh, uh, dana is kept, the straw is kept for the horses. It will go and roll on the dana, straw. So the straw will catch fire. When straw will catch fire, uh, horse stable will catch fire. Horse stable will catch fire, all the horses will develop boils on their body. When the, ho when the boils develop on the body, when they call the royal physician, he will suggest the cure for this uh, boils will be monkey fat. And the next moment king will say, what is the use of this monkeys? Kill them, use their fat and cure my horses, which each horse is worth of lakhs of rupees. This is what the future will be. They all said, no, no, you are all stay, you are staying in Brahma. You are in illusion. We don't foresee any of these things happening. The old monkey tried to instruct them since they did not listen. He said, your karma, you enjoy, I am leaving here and he goes away. As instructed by old monkey, one particular day, one good morning, the issues repeated. Sheep went to the kitchen, they threw a burning coal. Its body started burning. It went to the uh, straw. From straw, straw hut started burning, some straw hut, horse table started burning, all the horses have bodily burns on their body. Immediately the king called for royal physician who suggested the only medicine is monkey fat and next moment all the monkeys are slaughtered and medicine was prepared and uh, all the horses were saved. So by understanding this point, we have to hear from authorities that monkey is like a guru who has seen the understanding of this material world and he could able to guide us. But we are all that foolish young monkeys who are not interested in the divine instructions and who wants to suffer in this material world. <laughs>